Hello, my crafty loving friends, and happy holidays. I hope you're ready for some fun today. We are going to do three projects, and we're going to get right into it. So project number one is berries and pine cones. I have a cutting board that I got from a local thrift store and for a dollar and I decided to sand it down and use this as one of my centerpieces. So I sanded it so that it would take some of the stain which it's actually antique wax watered down and I did it all over the top and then I wiped it all back so that it left a nice brown stain on top. When I heard about this collaboration, I was trying to figure out what I was going to make and I decided that I had a lot of thrift store finds that I could use and I decided to use those. So everything here is a thrift store find or something that I got at the free store at my local dump. So I'm putting holes in the bottom, not going all the way through uh, for my little pegs that I have. These I found at the dump, they were in a bucket and I brought the, I saw them and grabbed them and brought them home and I've used them several times for feet because they're really really cool shaped and they look just like really fancy little feet for my my trays so I used hot glue and I glued them all in and uh, pushed down flipped it over and pushed down to make sure that they were in there nice and tight and it sat level it didn't rock back and forth so this I think is a lampshade. Uh, I found this at the a local thrift store for a couple dollars and I had to get it. It looked like a cloche to me. Now unfortunately I didn't get this in the screen very well, but this is a little piece off the top of a chair uh, and I happened to find that at the dump as well and I grabbed it because I said I can definitely use that. I had to cut it down a little bit because it had a little piece sticking down, but I cut it off so it was flat and it would sit on top of that hole really nicely. I got it glued in and there's a good shot coming up here that you can see it. I love the color, didn't paint it at all. Project number two, poinsettias and gold. This is a basket that I thrifted oh, just not too long ago, and I was going to do something different with it, but I saw it and the color, and I said, I really, really like this, and I have several things that'll go together. So it just all came together so nicely. Just had to figure out how to get that ribbon in and out the correct way that I liked it, and cut it down and then glued it on so after I weaved it in and out of each of those little brackets. Now that the ribbon's on and adjusted all correctly, I grabbed a big hunk of the greenery that I got from Christmas Tree Shop and I cut a big piece off and just wrapped it around and around in that basket to make it look nice and full. I fluffed up all the branches and then I had these three candles not all three exactly the same, but close enough. And then these sparkly little pine cones. And I had four, four of those, tuck those in, and there's my poinsettias. I just think they're so beautiful. I love the red. Once I got those in and all fluffed up the way that I wanted them, I grabbed some some gold branches, I was gonna say silver. It came off that big branch I got from a Michaels haul, and I cut all the branches off so that I could stick them in all at different levels and heights, and just tucked them in here and there, and that is where my gold comes in. 
think they really added uh, a nice touch to this centerpiece. Well, I'd like to thank Crafty Hints by Chantel, Kiki's DIYs, and OK at Home DIY for having this collaboration of Christmas centerpieces. Uh, I really had a lot of fun doing this, and I will have a link to their channels down in the description and a link to the playlist. Well, last but not least, Christmas Trees and Snowflakes is the next one. So this is an old metal mailbox that I thrifted at Goodwill and I had some stickers on it or there were some stickers on it and I tried taking them off and it ended up scratching the paint and taking the paint off the product that I used to get the stickers off so I decided that I was going to give this all a nice fresh coat of chalk paint which is what I did. I actually give it two coats of chalk paint. Okay, after it sat and dried, I took my white Waverly chalk paint and a clean brush and I went down along the bottom. I'm going to make a scene on the bottom of this uh, mailbox and I need, I'd need i like to have a little bit of white for, oh, like snow at the bottom. So I painted that all along the bottom, made a few dips and bumps and it is definitely not straight across there there's brush strokes and I tried to make it look as kind of snowy as possible after I went across with one coat of brushing it on this time I went on and kind of uh, Dippled it on, I guess you want to say, kind of stamped it on there. Wanted to make it a little bit raised uh, and look a little uneven and like snow, like a little snowbank. So these are some trees that I made out of air dry clay. Um, they're all four or all five of them are the same trees. The two smaller ones I had just not made them as big as the other ones, so. They're just kind of like the tops of the trees. I have some moss green paint and I decided to paint them the moss green. I really like that color and I thought that would be okay for the Christmas trees, especially with the um, what I'm going to do once they are dry. So I did go across and touch them up uh, once they were dry the first time I touched them up with a second coat just in the spots that I had missed. So this is what I'm doing with the trees. I'm placing them on the front of the little mailbox and I'm just trying to get them set where I want them right now where I think I, I want to put them and get them spaced out just the right amount. So I'm doing the three big ones first which is uh, the ends and one in the middle. 
So I figured I'd set those in first and then I can put the two smaller ones just a little bit higher up uh, on the little snow pile there and uh, make it just look a little bit different. I'm taking Mod Podge now and I'm going across the snow and putting lines across the trees because I will be taking some Epsom salt that I have and going across and sprinkling them on uh, and making kind of a sparkly winter scene on the front. And so those are going to sparkle and it'll be really pretty I hope. Coming back in with some more Mod Podge. I didn't feel like there was a thick enough layer there. I want more snow on it, like there was a nice blizzard the night before and it's just sticking to those trees. So I came back in with a heavier coat and I also decided to kind of pounce on the sky part of it and to, so that I could stick some snow to that as well. So I have these little snowflake about the size of little buttons and I took five of them and I just kind of, I tried to randomly just put them on the mailbox so that it would look like some bigger snowflakes closer up. I thought that really added a nice touch. And then I have these little pearls that I've been using for another project, but I have a bunch left over and I decided to use them to put on my trees as kind of like little decorations. And um, I thought they looked really pretty and kind of elegant. So after I was done putting everything on, I did take this downstairs and give it a good spray of clear sealer, a couple coats actually, just to make sure that everything stuck on there nicely and you didn't have little pieces of uh, stuff falling off from there. So it is nice and sealed. So I took some greenery and stuffed it inside the mailbox and then I had this wired pitberry garland that I got from Dollar Tree and it's got white pearl berries on them. So I decided that I thought that would look really pretty and just intertwine them all through the greenery. And I also have this plug-in uh, little tiny rice wired lights and this already had the snowflakes on them. I must have used it for something else, but I thought it would be perfect for this one. There, it's a tiny strand of about 50 little lights, so that uh, will work out really nicely. I'll just intertwine those and tuck them in all different places. And then these little snowflakes are gonna be perfect to fill in the spots, the empty spots.
and of course it needed a pretty little bow this one has some iridescent little snowflakes all over them I thought it would be perfect and then some pretty red balls to stand out in my display this centerpiece is going to be a little different because it's going to sit on my faux fireplace that I have and it's going to be all lit up and decorated pretty Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed my three centerpieces that I did for the collaboration. If you're interested in seeing more Christmas ideas, I'll put a playlist up in the corner here. Thank you for watching, take care, and happy holidays.